What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 news video and today we're going to go over all the information surrounding the game from the past few days. Remember people, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really does help me and my channel out and I do appreciate that support. But let's get into it. Okay, so Kim.com has said a few words about Bungie's way of dealing with Destiny 2. If you don't know who Kim.com is, here is a little briefing into his life. Kim.com, uh, born 21st of January 1974, also known as Kimball, is a German Finnish internet entrepreneur and political activist who resides in Auckland, New Zealand. He first rose to fame in Germany in the 1900s as an internet entrepreneur. Dotcom is the founder of the now defunct file hosting service, Mega Upload. Do you guys remember that? I certainly do. Earlier, he achieved notoriety in Germany as a teen hacker who received a two-year suspended sentence for selling identities that he had siphoned from telephone operators' client database. Since the closure of Mega Upload, he has been accused of criminal copyright infringement and other charges such as money laundering, racketeering and wire fraud. Basically, the dude is a big time on the World Wide Webs. And this is what he tweeted out about Bungie. Hi Bungie, you ruined my favourite game. You turned good guardians into overwatchers and fortniters. You bankrupted an army of loyal Destiny streamers. You failed to provide meaningful changes to fix the problem. You need a passionate and competent leader who plays the game. Call me. When a dude like Kim.com tweets something like this, you know shit has hit the pan. But it didn't end there, he went on to tweet this. Seriously Bungie, let's fix Destiny 2. Here's my plan. PvP? D1 Trials was a better format, bring it back, increase movement speed, reduce time to kill, we need dedicated servers, no more lag, loot, better rewards based on time played and kills to keep players coming back for more, it's okay to give those who invest the most time the best gear, faster time to kill and PvE domination, create very hard milestones that can take months to complete to get the various loot, for example the right to wear two exotic armor pieces or weapons, new players will be encouraged to achieve more, Battle Royale, you have so much idle real estate, massive planets, massive maps, you're missing the trend, you have all the ingredients to be better than PUBG and Fortnite, this could be done in less than 6 months, if you don't want to do it give me a license and I'll raise the money and do it, there's so much more, your community is a treasure, listen to them, let's give them what they deserve, we all want the same, longevity, a destiny that will keep us excited for years, not just weeks. Now after reading this, I actually don't know what to say here. This guy is right in almost every single way. The thing is, I think we all can see it. I think we all can put simple ideas on the table which will improve the game in some shape or form. Now his idea on a battle royale mod is definitely worth a video on its own. So I'm going to put a few ideas together and make a video discussing such a plan. But there is so much truth in this statement by Kim.com. The good thing here is though, his voice on the internet is so big, there is no way Bungie haven't seen this, which is a good thing. Some of the changes he mentions here though are already in the works, which is great. Let's just hope they can see that a few others too. Moving on and on to the legendary Dato, who has just recently done an interview on IGN about the current state of Destiny 2. Now I've seen a few comments on Twitter stating that what he said was wrong, seeing as the fact Destiny basically grew his channel. At the end of the day I actually disagree with that. It takes people like Datto, who is no doubt the biggest Destiny content creator out there on YouTube, it takes someone like him to go to a place like IGN for shit to be noticed. Yes for sure Bungie know the current state of the game is at an all time low, hence why the panic of changes. Changes which in my opinion should have been there from day one. But I actually appreciate the fact that I was spoken out in the fashion he did. That's what's needed. The more the BS Bungie try pool with Destiny 2 is sugar coated by suck ups, the worse it will get. And in my opinion it's actually gotten this bad due to being sugar coated for so long. Bungie no doubt once believed that they can get away with what they've delivered to us over the past 6 months. But in fact it's just not acceptable. So to the people out there bashing on Dato for what he said. He's saying it for the benefit of the franchise, it's as simple as that. Now I will link the IGN panel with that all within the video description if you guys do want to check it out if you missed it, it's definitely worth a watch. So with negativity aside, what is there to actually look forward to in Destiny 2? Well this next Tuesday at uh, Weekly Reset, Faction Rally returns. This time there is no lockout system on Lost Sectors, which is great. Also they have added the addition of a few new weapons to Faction Engrams which should look half decent too. So I will definitely be playing it. Plus the fact I need them ornaments on my dead orbit gear. 
The week after, on the 27th of February, we get the 1.1.3 update, which includes Nightfall scoring and high score tracking, emblem and aura rework, and a few other bits and bobs, as well as Nightfall Strike exclusive unique rewards, which as far as I know, at the moment, are just epic looking emblems, but I'm guessing more things will be added over time. But guys, that is it. That is it for another video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.